Hi, this is the Phoenix here to do another weekend and update for the sign of Pisces. Just keep in mind these are general readings, they're not going to resonate for all of you, but for the ones that it does resonate for, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading with me, all the information will be in the description box below. This is going to be for the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs of Pisces. So I see you taking a new path. I see you going towards your happiness. I see a lot of changes happening for you guys in regards to relationships as well as job opportunities. I see an ending has finally happened, but I do see a lot of change coming into your life that is going to transform your whole energy field altogether. You will be getting a lot of luck very soon. Everything that you put your hand to will come for you. And the energies around you are just changing. Luck is going to be on your side. Things are going to become favorable to you. Alright, so let's see what is happening here for you guys. So I see you being guarded, but I see you're not giving up, which is good. You feel a magnetic pull towards someone. Could be a twin flame or soulmate. Could be a Gemini as well. You could be working with this person. Doesn't have to be. Or you will meet this person very soon through a job. It is going to be love at first sight. It is going to be a very new relationship. This person could be a Libra. But I do see a lot of good karmic justice coming into you. It could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn as well. But I do see you moving very slowly and strategically towards this person. But you will get through with them. They will pretend to ignore you in the beginning. They will pretend to ignore that the connection that they feel to you. But I do see everything working out in your favor. You are going to decide to pursue this relationship. Because for some of you, you've just gotten out of a relationship. For some of you, you're, you've been single for some time. But I see you being stuck on this person. I see you having gone through a lot of time. So for those of you that are not in a relationship, this is someone new that you're going to meet. Um, you took some time out to do some self-healing. And you are balanced now. You are committed. You are ready to commit to someone. You have actually gotten both your fire and ice in definite sync with each other. So you're, you're there in this emotional balance position where you can actually accept or be in a successful relationship. Now you have decided to walk away from something or someone. Could be a job or could be a relationship before. But this one that you're going to be connecting to, it is going to be magnetic. It is going to pull you into it. Now, for right now, some of you may not be working, so it would be someone that you're going to meet at a new job that you're going to get. The change that is coming is going to be a resistance. You're going to, you're going to give a resistance to it because everything is going to happen so quickly, you're not even going to believe your luck. But things are balancing out. You are going to be reciprocated in the relationship that is coming towards you, any job offer that you're going to get. You are going to actually be very successful in it. You're going to be, you're going to actually get through with it. And it's not going to be something small and minuscule. It's going to be something really big. It's going to be something really um, out there. But you're going to be skeptical of it and you're going to pull back from it and you're going to think, is my luck really that good right now? Yes, it is. So you may be in your ego and thinking about saying no to it, don't. That opportunity that is coming in to you will give you both a relationship and financial stability. 
It could be with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, but you need to make decisions with your head over your heart. Now, you may not know the future, but I'm telling you, a lot of good things are coming into you guys very soon. And this relationship is going to be one that is guided. It is going to be a quick one. It is going to be something that will be satisfactory to you. From the time you meet this person, you will know. Now, this person could be a Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer. But they are very expressive when it comes to something that they love. They are very open. They are very... Um, they don't hide their emotions. Down. Right? But you're still going to be guarded because you would feel that this is too good to be true. And you're going to avoid the beginning of this. But you're going to find yourself communicating with this person and then falling quickly in love with them. Now you're going to feel stuck. You're going to feel, in the beginning, you're going to feel like this is not for me. But what do I do? Accept this offer of love and go with it. Now, for some of you, you're going to think of giving up your job. One that is in your best interest, mind you. Because you're going to feel trapped in the fact that, you know, I just got this job. And this person, I feel this magnetic pull too. I'm scared. So in being scared, I'm, I want to run. So you're going to think about leaving your job for some of you. But what you're not seeing is that this Ace of Pentacles really wants to be in the upright. But it is your choice at the end of the day. Because this relationship is going to move pretty quickly. It's not something that you're going to have time to catch your breath. Now this person is going to come across very emotional. And they are going to state to you very early that they do want a connection and a relationship with you. And they are going to be very straightforward with it. So it's just for you to answer as to yes or no to what it is you want. Now you're going to be scared, but I don't think you're going to show it to this person. Because you don't want to have a heartbreak again. Because probably a fire sign that you dealt with before were controlling, manipulative... And you're going to see this person as the same way because of them being straightforward to you. You're going to feel that this person is rushing the relationship because there is something that they have to hide. But the truth of the fact is that they are not going to be able to control themselves because of the strong magnetic pull that they feel to you. Yeah. You guys have had a past relationship. You guys were connected before in a past life. So it is the reason why the feeling is so comfortable. It is so magnetic. For some of you, this could be your twin flame that you're about to meet. Yeah. It's going to start off as a friendship. You're going to ask this person out on an innocent date and it is going to turn into a whirlwind of a romance. But know that luck is on your side. Things will move in your favor. You are very lucky at this point in time. At the beginning of the reading, if that is what came out, your luck is going to change. You will definitely take a risk with this person and forget the past and all the pains that you have gone through. And it will be a beautiful new beginning. It will be a passionate one. It will have great potential here. Because it is something you have been manifesting a long time. For some of you, you've been trying to manifest your twin flame. And it is about to happen. You are going to finally meet this person. Now, in the beginning, it's going to be confusing to you. But eventually, you will take charge of the situation. Could be an Aries for some of you. It could be the boss of where you're going to get this new job. But I do see things working out for you. Even though you are unsure of what is happening, things will work for you the way it is supposed to. All right, so if you guys are manifesting your twin flame, you're about to meet them. It's going to be somewhere that you're going to get a job. It is going to be someone that you're working with. And everything will move pretty quickly. That I can assure you. 
that by the time you're ready to try to grasp it and hold on to it, it's really, really far in a committed relationship. It's going to sneak up on you, but you are. I see you do. I see you being open to giving it a chance. So that's a good thing. Let's hope you don't self-sabotage yourself in the future. Look at this relationship closely. You are going to realize for most of you that this is a twin flame union. Yeah. So don't self-sabotage yourself because you know in advance the person you're going to meet may be your potential twin flame. Learn what you need to learn from the connection, transcends the different mindsets, and bring this into union. Because it is going to be a new day for you, you are going to be able to build something new. But you have to look at things from a very childlike way, very innocent. Don't look at the bad, but look at the good. Alright, so this is what I have for you guys. I hope it helps. Have a good one.